Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, today we are playing around with something that I purchased, forgot about, and, and I went digging in my drawer of new products and I was like, oh, I need to try that out. So I'm talking about the Jaclyn Hill palette that she did with her mom for Mother's Day. This is Dear Mom and the color story is pretty on the neutral side. And then also I picked up the black eyeliner and then two of the liquid lipsticks. So we played around with those today and this is the look we got. Now you guys, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications, new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. But if you wanna see how I got this eye look using the products from Jaclyn, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, diving into this palette from Jaclyn Hill. This is Dear Mom. This was to her mom on Mother's Day. And I mean, inside here she has her mom and her as well as a little note to her. Okay, and then looking at this color story, you get a lot of like neutral mattes. You get a couple shimmers right here on this row. And I feel like you have a little bit for everyone if you want something a little more subdued, if you wanted a little more smoky eyed. You've got your base shades like black and brown, and then you have some in-betweens to just kind of amplify it with colors. I think I want to stick more with like the brown shades, and I do want to swatch the shimmers, absolutely, but I just want to get a feel for them before we dive in because I could change my mind. I've been known to do it in the past. Okay, so this first shade, this is Thankful. This is just that buttery smooth silver shade it is so nice. The, the colors themselves, when I went to go swatch them, they're smooth, but they do have like a weird, like a slight grit to them, but the shades are really pretty. Then I have the shade French Silk, which is a really light champagne shade. This I would use for in the inner corner or the brow bone. Then you have Apple Pie, which is absolutely stunning. This is that gold shade that you need in every like neutral palette. Then you have Family AF, and this one is more of like a bronzy gold shade. And then you have this green shade, which is Tootsie, and that is so stunning. But most of your shimmers are neutral, just because those are the ones that I put right here in the inner corner area. So I like that you have a lot of lighter shades. Do you need darker shades of shimmer? Just depends on what your preference is. So let's go ahead and swatch those four right there. Ooh. And then I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the green shade right there for you. I still wanna use this shade right here. So stunning. Okay, my first shade that's gonna go in the crease is this one right here, which is so ucky. <laughs> Reading some of these shade names, some will make me laugh, and then others, like I, I get that they are sentimental to her and have meaning. Um, but you see some of them are like, bad mousy. <laughs> I never saw her video if she like talked about this release or what the names meant. I know sometimes she does, but I didn't see one. Um, so I actually don't know what the names mean, but I know they're sentimental to her. All right, so this shade is really light, which is fine. It's good for the crease, but it gives us something to put down and buffer before I go into the darker shades. Now I think I want to go into the shade Pudding Girl, which is just kind of that peachy pinky shade. And also on my fluffy brush, I'm just going to place this right here underneath the crease and then in the outer V before I start blending it out. Today I've just been relaxing. <laughs> it's actually later than I expected to start filming, but I just took it easy. It's the weekend, I actually got to sleep in. Well, I say sleep in. I woke up at 6 a.m. And then I tried to just lay in bed and go back to sleep, but that did not work. So I got up, I ran a couple errands that I had to do, and then I got a workout in. And I'm gonna go into the shade Bad Mousy, which is that dark brown shade. I'm going to use my con condensed packing brush and I'm going to just place it where it needs to go before I blend it out. See how concentrated it is first. Just 
keeping it a little neutral today. The weather is kind of crappy out. It's this morning it was kind of cloudy, which wasn't a big deal. Made it nice for when I was outside because it wasn't god awful hot. And it's actually been storming here. And at one point I had, when I had gotten out of the shower and I wanted to just towel dry my hair before I braided it, I just lay down looking at my phone, watching, like scrolling through TikTok and just listening to the rain. Sometimes you just need to decompress. I did about 30 minutes of yoga after I did my workout and then just listening to the rainstorm outside. I was going to use the shade French Silk first, but I think I'm going to go into Apple Pie just because it's that really pretty gold shade. I'm going to see if I can pick that up on a dry brush and if it'll place it down with some of the shimmer or do I need to actually use a finger for application. It looks like it picked up but we'll see. It did, but it's not, it's not great. So I just picked it up on my middle finger. I'm gonna place it right here in the middle and see if I can just finesse this area right here in the crease, cause I don't want it to blow out too much. And now I'm gonna go into the shade French Silk. I'm gonna pick that up on my ring finger and place it right here in the inner and blend it into the gold. So you get a little bit of that lightness and then it gradients into the gold. And then dipping back into Bad Mousy, I'm just going to push forward so that it blurs the edge on the gold a little bit and then into the crease. Okay, so I went and did this eye as well as my base products. Now we need to finish off the under eye. And looking at this, I kind of want to stick with the neutral shades. I know sometimes I'll do a pop of color, but I just want to keep it a little neutral today. So I'm going to go into the shade Farm Girl, and I'm going to place that under the eye. It is a little bit, I mean, it's, it's not the darkest brown in here because that's what I used in my outer corner, but it's kind of like a tannish brown. And actually looking at the eyeshadows that I'm using or that I used it's pretty I just don't know that they're as shimmery as I would like so I might actually go and put like a topper on and then to finish it up I'm gonna go back into Bad Mousy I'm just gonna put that underneath in the outer corner area and then connect the two and then the compacted smudger. Now, like I said, the shimmers aren't like just my vibe today. So I do have, and honestly, you can take any topper that you want. I just want a little more pop. So I'm using the Kylie Shimmer Eye Glaze in More Pie Please. These were a limited release as well as she just reformulated and she doesn't have these in the new collection yet. I hope she puts them out. They're absolutely stunning. This will just transform your look. If you like it how it is, just using the Jacqueline palette, absolutely stick with that. Look at that, you guys. So I'll do one eye before I go and do the other one. It just, it pops it a little bit more. And it's just so foiled and beautiful. And then to make sure that the shimmer doesn't <laughs> go too far out. Just really metallic and shimmery. And then it's just, it's shimmery. It's just a little more dull. So I like the palette. I just, it, it needs something. I'm just a girl that loves a beautiful shimmer pop. I don't know, let me know down below. Did you like it before I put the shimmer on or did you think that it helped it out a little bit? I absolutely love these toppers. I also have like the Hourglass ones. Marc Jacobs has a couple like, mm, you guys, I love having these in my collection. Now I do have a black eyeliner that was released in the collection. This is the Inline Eyeliner in Smooth Black. This is for the waterline. At least that's how I'm gonna use it. You can also use it to do your wing and then smoke it out. But we'll go ahead and do the waterline. See how smooth this is. 
I know some people are not able to do their water line like this. So even I will go like this just to bring it down a little bit so I'm not really touching my eyeball. But over time, it just, it gets easier. I will say though, it did a nice, like it went on nicely. There was no tug. And even then it looks like it barely used any of it because that point is still there. So with a black waterline, without. I'm gonna go do the rest of my eyeliner and mascara and I'll be back because I have two lip products. Okay, I went and put my jewelry on. I got changed into a different shirt because I couldn't be bothered to change out of my pajama shirt because it was just so comfy. I mean, they're the same color, just... Anyways. <laughs> so I went and did that. I finished off my makeup. I just need to do my lips and I picked up two shades of the liquid lipsticks and I have the shade Faith, which is just kind of like a pinky. Oh, that's like bubblegum pink. That's not really my shade, like. And then I also have Love, which looks like it could be my shade. It's just a little bit darker. So we'll put that right here. Ooh, that is a really pretty shade. It's a little bit darker than I wanted to go though. I think I'm gonna save this one for next time when I want a little bit darker of a shade. I was kind of hoping to stay a little more like neutral. So before these dry down, because these have some staying power. I do happen to have the Dose of Colors Matte Truffle Liquid Lipstick. So I'm gonna grab a lip liner and use this one. And I honestly just keep my lip liners in my lip drawer all combined together. I love these little Huda Beauty bags. It's what the makeup comes in and it protects it when it gets here, but they're so good for just storing stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Huda Beauty lip contour in muted pink and then the Dose of Colors Truffle Liquid Lipstick and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back and this is the final look. I like this shade that I use because it's a little bit more muted. I'm just going out with some friends tonight and it's gonna be pretty chill. So I don't want anything like too crazy. So maybe next time. Okay, so for my thoughts on this palette, I really like the color story on this. I do like the shimmers. They just, they need to be spiced up a little bit tonight. Even though it's gonna be a chill night, I still like to just have a little pop of shimmer, especially when I'm not going to work. I like to jazz my makeup up a little bit more because I have to keep it pretty neutral and glitter is not necessarily a thing that <laughs> we wear in the military. So I like this. I'll probably use this a lot because there are a lot of good staple shades in here. The browns are really pretty, the darker shades that I didn't get to use this time and I do want to play around with some of the greens. I know I just said that about the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau palette and honestly looking at this, their color stories are pretty similar, but I feel like there's some lighter shades in the ABH palette. Anyways, this I'll probably reach for a lot, especially for work. And I think that this is kind of one of those everyday palettes. So if you're into neutrals, if you're into the staple shades, this I think is a great palette. I am kind of bummed that there's not a mirror in here, but it's not a deal breaker. And then even the palette size itself, it's not super bulky. So if you were to travel with this, you have every shade that you would need for brown neutrals to smoky blacks, just a good palette. Um, the liquid lipsticks, I've tried them before from Jaclyn and I like the formula. Just, <laughs> I may have gone wrong with the lighter shade just because I don't reach for bubblegum pink shades. So I might actually see if I have a friend that wants to take this one off my hands, but I'll use, what is it? Love the next time. But anyways, you guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until my next video, you guys, bye. And I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.